What's up everyone, it's Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar Talk. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I am very happy to say Ross pedals have been revived. I used to love these old pedals. So I figured let's do a review. We've got the distortion. Let's just kick off with, here's the clean tone I'm using and switching the pedal on. So full disclosure, this is gonna be a pretty short and sweet, simple review because this pedal in itself is pretty simplistic. It's been brought back by JHS. I love JHS pedals, so this is gonna be pretty obvious as to whether I think it's a cool pedal or not. But here's another clip of another sound that this pedal does. So in terms of sounds and tones, obviously this is a very simplistic pedal with just level and distortion on the front. Don't let that fool you though, there is a wide range of tones in here. If you turn the distortion all the way almost off and then crank the level on it, you get a very nice percussive, slightly broken up boost to the front of your amp. If you crank that distortion up, then you get a very big, thick, heavy distortion. It goes anywhere in between there. Yes, it does classic rock very well, but you can get some nice kind of country broken up, clean tones, some nice bluesy tones out of this. It is a very versatile pedal. Love the simplicity of this pedal with just its straight level and distortion control. It's got a switch on the side here as well, which switches between germanium and silicon style clipping, which is era two and three of the pedal back from its original run, the different iterations that this pedal went through. But the, just the simplicity of plugging a guitar into it and controlling the tone with your volume control and the tone control on the guitar, which this pedal responds very, very well to. And then just obviously whichever amp you plug it into in the tone stack on there. The simplicity of this pedal is for me where its heart lies. If you are someone who likes tweaking EQs and tone stacks and options on pedals, this might not be for you, but if you just want something that's plug and play and very simple, then this thing has got loads and loads of tone. Another cool thing with this pedal bundle in general is you get some stuff with it like a book that goes through the Ross history, but as well you get a cool Ross badge. Not enough companies do that. I love little things like this, nerdy little collectibles that I can just either keep somewhere or just put it on a guitar strap or I can put it on the strap of my pedal board. This, not enough companies do this. quality of this pedal, it has been done very well. It's been built in the JHS facility in the US and they know what they're doing. They've been building pedals for ages and they come out with some very good quality stuff. And this is exactly the same as that. The components they've used all feel very good quality. It's got a cool switch on there, a soft touch switch, which isn't latching. It feels like a momentary style switch where there's no click when you push it in, but it feels great quality and you've got the LED so you know when it turns on and off. There's nothing to worry about in terms of build quality. Awesome job there by JHS. Would I 
play one of these live? Now, by that I mean, would I take it out on tour? If someone gave me one of these and said, this is going new pedal board and this is your distortion pedal for a tour, yeah, I would have no problem with this being on my board. Would it be the only drive pedal? Probably not for me because I play a range of sounds and tones, different distortion levels, and I would need to tweak the distortion level, which you don't want to be doing between songs. But if I had two of these on my board, then that might get me through absolutely fine. In terms of general sound quality and just build quality of the pedal, I would have absolutely no issue with this being an addition to my pedal board. the pedal worth the money now they are 169 ish pounds at release in the uk and for the build quality and tone that this gives i'd be happy to pay 169 for it can you get the same tone for cheaper yeah you can this is a very old design circuit from the 70s it's been copied loads of times in loads of different pedals and you could get it cheaper. Obviously, JHS pedals, they cover this loads so that there are loads of copies of pedals and you've probably seen shootouts of pedals where you've got like Tube Screamer style pedals at certain price points or Klon style pedals. You can get a Klon style pedal for 35 pounds, 50 pounds, 80 pounds, 200 pounds, 1,000 pounds. Can you get these styles of tones cheaper? Yes, you can, but would I be upset that I paid 169 pounds for this style of distortion pedal. No, I wouldn't complain if I got this tone for 169 pounds on my pedal board. So overall, I think this is a great distortion pedal. Do I see it being popular for years and years and are they gonna sell bucket loads of them? Probably not, but then the market is saturated with distortion pedals. But as a throwback pedal that they are gonna sell some of and hopefully expand on the line, like I'd love to see another version of this where they do like a twin pedal where you've got two circuits in one, that would be great. This as a starting point to revive the Ross brand is really cool. I recommend if you see one in the shop and you're in the mood to try stuff out or you're looking for a simple, cool sounding distortion, then definitely give one of these a try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.